Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. Anyway, coming back at you here with a uh, <clears throat> quick update and fishing report for Clear Lake, California. Anyway, let's turn around here and show you guys show you guys these conditions. It has been off and on raining all day today, and a couple times it's been just pouring cats and dogs. That's that's a a goofy uh, statement I grew up with as a kid. Doesn't make any sense, but that just means it rained a whole bunch. But anyway, looks like we got some blue skies trying to sneak up here a little bit. But uh, here you can see these storms have definitely stained the water in the keys again. Go over and let me get you a better look. And uh, as far as clarity, I I covered a uh, a bunch of a bunch of the oaks today because we went out in the harvester getting a bunch of trees and stuff that had fallen out of the water and it's actually clearer in here than any of the other keys 90 percent of the keys right now is chocolate milk and as you can see right there on my little uh, bobsy gauge we are officially back up to uh, the eight foot rumsey and as you guys all know when we hit that eight foot rumsey that means that the quarter mile <clears throat> no wake zone has been reinstated here on Clear Lake. So uh, don't forget about that when you get back up here. You know, it's it's probably like one of those things where, hey, it's against the law to drive over 55 miles an hour, but uh, everybody does it. But hey, guess what? Sometimes a person gets a, gets a ticket for going 56. So uh, don't be the person getting the ticket up here. Anyway, fishing, that's what you're here for. Let's talk fishing. I have spent 100% of my time this week down here in the Keys. I know that there's a phenomenal bite going up north, but uh, I didn't want to just go up there and fall in and chase everybody else's bite. I know that there's fixing to be a super bite down here because all the indicators are here. If you guys have seen some of my videos, the bait's here, <clears throat> the birds are here, and uh, everything here is but here but the fish. And uh, I know that's going to sound like a big old fat lie, but I promise you, I have gone through these oaks the last couple days and I have made probably 10,000 flips with my brush hog and with drop shots. And I've been throwing the underspin. I've been throwing, <clears throat> throwing the uh, spinner bait. I've been throwing the swim baits. And out of those 10,000 casts, I've got five bass. And I even spent one day, probably six hours, where I was just ducking in and out of the docks. And trust me, I know where these bass like to spawn here in the oaks. I, uh, <laughs> I know their favorite spots. So I was uh, I was throwing a study on them. I have not seen a single bass staging or getting set up. I have not seen a single bed that has been prepped. 100% zero activity as far as bedding bass have I seen with my own eyes here in the oaks. But I can guarantee you there is no way that it's not happening somewhere around here. They just they just can't hold off that long. But with that said, <clears throat> the water temperature is surprisingly low. It's been getting a lot cooler here in the evenings than uh than I've been realizing because uh <clears throat> the water temperature was was in the in the mid fifties. And uh you know with it being so stained I would you know my mind tells me hey it's gonna warm up quicker but it seems like just the opposite is happening. This I don't know if the rain's just been a, a little colder or, or what but the water temperatures are not where I would expect them to be right now. But uh, anyway, we got stained water, we've got <clears throat> we've got colder temperatures, everything's getting pushed back. There has to be something happening somewhere because nature's gotta run its course and uh there is still a phenomenal bite up north. I know that it's still a circus up there, but I can guarantee it's gonna be popping down here before too long. So we'll we can have a circus on both ends of the uh, uh of the lake to go join. I have no idea what's happening in Red Butt Arm. I haven't even talked to anybody that's been doing anything over there, but I have. T there's been a lot of Airbnbers up here in the neighborhood this week, and uh, every single one that I've spoken to this week has been struggling. So I'm not the only one that was struggling with the bite. There's not anything that I missed down here. It's just not here yet. So anyway, <clears throat> hopefully that will help you guys out when you get up here. And uh, as I like to say, when you get up here, and I mean this, treat people the way you want to be treated, and peace out, baby.